Hello, and uh, I'm not sure what to title this video. However, I'm not sure what country you're living in or how things are affecting you. Well, I went shopping today and was quite shocked as to how empty the shelves were. I spoke to the shop assistant. I said, I've never seen it so bad. It, it's actually worse then during lockdown, there was nothing on the shelves. You might as well have stayed in bed. That's how bad it was for Queen's Jubilee. And you think that the shelves would be packed, but they were empty. Not even for the precious Jubilee it could there be an exemption and the shelves look superficially stocked, but they weren't. They were bone dry. You're lucky if you if you even saw a toilet roll, a packet of biscuit. It was that, it was that bad. But what I find interesting was the quote from Russia, where Russia said that Britain would resort to cannibalism. Now, in order to make such a statement, you have to understand political economy. People says, oh, you know something, we're going to war with this country, we're going to war with that country. Not realizing the country that you're going to war with, number one, produces oil, right, which you relied upon. And number two, the country that they're attacking produce the world's most, you know, wanted thing, wheat, amongst other things. So immediately, it's not just a war where lives are being lost, but an economic war which will lead to serious casualties okay the people that are going to be affected are the average person like you and i the billionaires and the government will not be affected okay they will still live in their mansions they will still be trading on the stock market to them it's a game right but to you and i it's real because the prices are going sky high okay now, what's interesting, there are some spiritual-minded Christians who see this as an, uh, the horse of the apocalypse, starvation, okay? One of the signs of the end times. But what I find interesting is that I'm waiting for Creflo Dollar to give his spin on this. I'm waiting for T.D. Jakes to give their spin on this. Joel Austin, you know, to name but a few mega church pastors the world is in a crisis a serious crisis but yet it's business as normal for these mega church pastors they're not having dreams they're not they're not having visions and and and, and for the false prophets they've gone quiet they have nothing to say regarding this disaster now if you study um you know bible history uh, especially, you, you know, when the children of Israel, uh, in regard to their experience and wars, etc., you begin, people don't look at the background, how were wars began? They don't look at the background, they think, oh, you just wake up one morning and I'm, I'm going to fight. They don't realize, you know, it's as a result sometimes of treaties going wrong okay greed which is always number one factor okay but there's always a background to why wars begin if you look at germany germany wanted to take i think over poland uh, and and they wanted to it was over a water port um, it was nothing to do with freedom it was to do with the water port and germany wanted to spread their empire okay and that's how war began it, it's always a, a political strategic or non-strategic move okay however people who think they are in control of life is a game of chess okay we think we're in control but we don't know the higher powers that are manipulating right the kings and the queens right of this game of chess so i i, I it brings me quite beautifully to the dream i had in in 2015 and that was there was an earthquake 
okay god was going to send an earthquake you just just look up earthquake okay on my channel and 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 you will see or i'll put it i'll put the link in the description okay and why europe was being punished if europe is being punished as a result right of the dream i had in 2015 and then they had brexit and which is a result also of the shells being empty and now and now the war between Russia and Ukraine, which, which, which is going to have an effect, obviously, on, on, on our food production and, and oil, etc. Then you can guarantee that Europe and America will not win this war against Russia. It is going to damage the European economy. in a very bad way. There's a magazine which I read, um, which is called The Trumpet, and it's produced by Philadelphians. Although there's some things that, about them I don't like, for instance, they tend, I think they're more right-wing political, you know, Republicans masquerading as Christians. You, you know, there's, there's more political language in, in The Trumpet magazine than there is God and Jesus, you know, there's more, it's more like a Republican magazine more than anything else. However, when it comes to looking at the crisis with Russia, Europe, etc., they do have a very good eye and they can see that in the economics war, Russia is winning. For instance, Russia has made, I think it's 50% extra on their economy. Europe is losing their GDP, or briefly the GDP, the dollar is fallen. So Europe is, fe is feeling it, and America, but Russia is, get, is becoming richer out of this war. So really, you're wondering who, who are the ones who are really being sanctioned? Who are the ones who are really suffering as a result of this um, war with, with Russia. Economics and politics are very complicated. Let me give you an example. America talks about going to war with, with China, yet America has trillions, American Britain has trillions of investment in China. Okay, most of the car parts, okay, come from China, which means that most people's cars, if, America, if Britain and America went to war with China, most people's cars would end up not moving because the parts the microchip everything comes from china so it's, it's quite complicated it's not just a matter of going on your horse and carriage like the olden days and and fighting it's, it's it's complicated now because of trade deals because of manufacturing because of central economy which has evolved where everyone relies on everybody else hence why if you look at the russia the ukraine situation it has crippled britain the shelves are empty, and that's a result of Brexit as well, right? But you have to look at prophecy on, on my video, and you, and you will see that actually I did say that things would get worse. And this is only warming up. Do you know they actually said that America and Britain are going to be in darkness for months? There'll be no lights in America or Britain as a result of no energy, as a result of cutting off Russia. So in other words, they're cutting off their noses to spite their face. Russia, of course, is winning this, but propaganda don't want you to know that. Just like with a vaccine. It's the same thing with a vaccine. You weren't allowed to find out anything regarding the vaccine. What did Google do? They hid the information. It's the same thing with Russia. Russia is winning this war, but what, what Google and those who run it are doing they are being biased they are feeding the propaganda you can't put food on your table the shelves are empty yet you're winning the war it doesn't make any sense you have to really dig deep and find out this propaganda is actually brainwashing you right europe and america is not winning this war with russia at all russia has made 50 billion extra as a result of these sanctions india pakistan and china are buying up russia's energy but you're not allowed to know that. When you're strong to put food on the table, you're strong to find food, they're brainwashing you to believe we're winning. No, we're not. And the reason being, as I said, Europe and Britain are being punished. 
just look back at all my videos and you will see they are being punished and I said it would get worse first you had COVID then you had fires and floods etc you had one disaster after the other you had Brexit and now you've got this but I had a dream that God was going to send an earthquake an earthquake and how he was going to permanently damage the economy well while all the prophets have gone quiet all gone silent it seems that my vision my dream my prophecy at this moment is becoming truer than before truer than before you know i think it was in 2021 i was shown that ma ma in my dream ma three times and i thought what does that mean and i wrote it down they went back to sleep and the the, the word stopped when i woke up looked on google ma it means to permanently damage and i was told in my sleep what god would do he was going to permanently damage i don't sure if it's only britain or america you know but the dream i had in 2015 was the earthquake in britain and I did say that Boris Johnson, would, they would have difficulties getting rid of him. He was going to be a King Nebuchadnezzar. They would get difficulty getting rid of him. That he was going to be used to destroy Britain. And there is no politician more corrupt ever in history than Boris Johnson. The curse seems to be alive and well. Watch this space. The food, I went shopping today. I wasn't going to do a video um, today, but... I had to. The shelves were empty. You know, and the Christians who are spiritually minded are calling it. In fact, one woman, she's not even a Christian, who, who, owns, who owns a farm in, in the local village. She's not even a Christian. In fact, I'm sure she's a pagan, right, and a vegan. And she said, you know something? It makes you think about the Bible when it talks about pestilence, when it, you know, in Revelation, end times, People are now worried, even atheists are now worrying, saying, what the hell is going on? The shelves are empty. And Russia said that Britain will become like cannibals. They end up eating each other. So you watch this space. You watch this space. As I said, a lot of people were quiet regarding this. That, oh, God's going to bless Britain. He's going to make her prosper. And I said, no, it's not going to happen. It's going to get worse. And I will continue making videos of this nature. Because things are not going to look good.